This is the clip mirror created by a fellow hygienist and it attaches to a standard saliva ejector to create a suctioning mirror. To use it, gently squeeze it around your slow speed suction like so, and you can even move the mirror up and down on the suction as needed. There are also built-in size safety loops for you to be able to ligate the mirror as needed as an added precaution for compromised patients. You just thread a piece of floss through the loop and then circle it around this suction and then tape it on with sterilization tape. The manufacturer recommends the use of the Blue Boa DE, which holds a standard saliva ejector to reduce aerosols, increase suction, and reduce hand fatigue. To make it the most ergonomic, hold it like a regular mirror with a modified pen grasp, and you'll use it for the same functions of indirect vision, retraction, and illumination. If you notice that the water keeps beating up on it, you can rub a little profi paste on the durable and really bright titanium mirror to reduce the water droplet surface tension. It won't damage it. You can bend the suction as needed for indirect vision and retraction. If you can see directly, you can turn the mirror clip to aid in retraction like so. Or if you have an area where you just want to use your regular mirror, you can bend it over the lip and use it for suctioning and trade off during the procedure. On the mandibular anteriors, you can form the saliva ejector in a U shape along the mandible and move the mirror slightly upward, making indirect vision and suctioning easier in this more challenging area. This is also really convenient for patients that you need to have slightly elevated or when you're having to stand, which can reduce operator fatigue and increase patient comfort. And when you're done with treatment, you can simply autoclave it as it's made not to rest. 